morning and this is going to be a different video for you guys it's not going to be a haul it ain't going to be a cooking video it's going to be a soap making video it is goat's milk so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this i'm going to cut this in in cubes big enough to go into my pot and i also make the old-fashioned lye soap but i had this in the house and i wanted to make some lavender soap but I wanted to bring you guys along for this in case people do not know how to do this. So basically, I didn't get my cutting board out. I just am cutting on the cover. And I'm just going to cut it into cubes. And I'm going to drop it into the, the double boiler. So I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to do this whole one. And that's going to melt rather quickly because that's been boiling for quite a while. The water came up to temp. So. And I'm going to add some cocoa butter to this because I want it to be super soft. I also have an oatmeal base that I could put in. I'm going to use a lavender scent. I have a mold. And it's already been greased, and I just use a spray. It's like just a regular can spray. It's super easy to make. But I am going to make, down the road, some old-fashioned lye soap in my crock pot. But I just don't have all the materials in the house for that, and I wanted to make some soap. When you make your own soap, you're controlling what's going into this. And this is just goat's milk that is um, already pre-added to a container. And it's called a pour in melt soap. Here, I have pure refined cocoa butter. See what's going on. See that, how quick it's melting? We're going to add a clump, just like that. It's probably... An inch. I'm going to put that right in too because I want that cocoa butter to be moisturizing on our skin. And this stuff is easy to clean because it is soap. You just put it in hot water and in no time at all you got it clean. Some lavender soap scent. And I have a bag of lavender. This is Providence lavender. This is really really fragrant and this is the, one of the best kinds you're going to melt all your oils together and the reason why i use this mold is because it has the ridges i'm going to give you a close-up see the ridges in that i want that on my soap but these are some of the different types of molds i have this is a candy mold i also get these like at the salvation army these are like the bread pans, they're just a rubber type pan. You can find these anywhere. And another soap that I have is olive oil, which I'm not making that today. I just wanted some goat's milk and lavender soaps. So I got a little bit of alcohol, just a little bit, in this spray bottle. While that's to finishing up melting, I'm going to bring you guys over for this. Here's my mold. I'm going to take some of the lavender, their petals, and I'm going to sprinkle them on the bottom of my mold. Just a light layer. And I'm going to show you. It's just on the bot very bottom, even it out just a little bit. And we're going to get back to the pot. Make sure this is all melted. And you want to make sure you scrape down your sides because that too, you could have some bits on the side of your pot. 
And you can find these pour and melt soaps at any craft store, like um, Michael's, um, Joann's. See, it's completely melted. So now we're going to add two or three drops of the lavender. One, two, I'm going to add four. Okay. And as you can tell right here, I've got the alcohol ready. So we're going to pour this pour and melt into the mold. Make sure it's well mixed. I'm going to pour it right in. And some of the lavender has floated up to the top, but that's fine. Because I'm actually going to put some on the top of it as well. So now, because I've got my pot and the soap in it, I'm going to take the remaining hot water and I'm just going to add it right to that to clean up the process. So we're going to take a little bit more. You see these bubbles on the top? I don't know if you can see that. See them bubbles? The best way to get rid of the bubbles is the alcohol. It eliminates them. It brings them up to the surface of your soap. And I don't have any coloring. I was looking to see an all natural coloring because you can find that as well by using some of your herbs, but I didn't find anything that I had in the house. The top of that with the alcohol. That's going to help the bubbles to rise to the top and escape. Okay, there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave this until it cools, just pull back on the mold, just a little bit on each each corner. And there you go. Just dumps it right out. You see that beautiful line in it? I'm going to measure this. It's about 8 inches, so you want 1 inch per bar. It's a little shy of it, so we're going to go... We're still going to do the one inch. So I'm just going to score it here. Score it here. Score it here. Score it here. And score it here. And this one will be a sliver. So now we're going to take the knife and we're going to cut right where we scored. I usually have a better knife for this and you just, you don't want to go up and down. You just want to go straight down. just like that. See how beautiful that is? So that's a little thick. So I might I might thin that out, but then you want to put it on a rack just like this. I'm going to cut that thin one. Actually, I should have you over here. beautiful on the top there. And look at this one. Look at the lines in it. It smells unbelievable. So anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know what you think. I'm sorry it took so long cutting it, but it's all good. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.